Hello, this is David G, and welcome to today's meditation. Let's find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. Let's gently feather our nest. And once you've settled in, let's take a long, slow, deep breath in together. And gently release that. Let's do that one more time and allow our eyelids to gently float closed as we inhale. And effortlessly release that. Sometime in our childhood, we came to grips with issues of self-worth, loneliness, relevance, self-kindness, self-love, self-compassion, certainly not having the tools as children to even understand what that was. We began creating personas personalities, ways that we would show up and interact with the world. But each of us at our core has a deeper pain that has not worked its way out of us. Maybe we've never spent the time addressing our childhood issues of loneliness, emptiness, worthiness, self-love, or relevance. Instead, we sugarcoated them. Instead of being those soft, tender, kinder people we truly wanted to be to ourselves, in our heart of hearts, we needed to protect ourselves, so we built a wall around our heart, a fortress, to protect us from our deepest, most painful emotions. But right now, we can let all that go. We can suddenly, in this moment, give ourselves permission to let go of what no longer serves us because you are so worthy. You are divine and magnificent. It was only a child who made that judgment to do the things that protected your heart. And you've been living that for the past 20 years. So let's love that child. Let's thank that child. Let's be grateful for that sweet, tender, wise child who works so hard to protect your heart. There are times when we may struggle with self-kindness, and it's usually because we're angry at some core of ourself for making a bad decision. But how can we truly blame a child for making a decision to protect us 20 years ago. It's time for compassion, self-compassion, self-love. Showering ourselves with self-worth, appreciating our divine nature, celebrating our magnificence. Let's get to that space right now. We'll breathe, connecting to the present moment, lengthening our breath. If at any time you feel uncomfortable, stop and just sit with your eyes closed. Be gentle with yourself. This is a meditation of self-love. So to the count of four, take a long, slow, deep breath in. One, two, three, four. And now let that flow back out to the count of five. One, two, three, four, five. 
Now breathe in to the count of five. Long, slow, deep breath in. One, two, three, four, five. And now exhale that back out to the count of six. Breathe in to the count of six. Long, slow, deep breath in. Two, three, four, five, six. And exhale to the count of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe that back in to the count of seven. Exhale to the count of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale to the count of nine. And let that go. And now just follow your breath in and out. Notice that when you slow your breathing down and take these long, slow, deep breaths in, Connect to the stillness and silence that rests within. Connect to your most divine self. Connect to your magnificence. Your purity. Your perfection. Your worthiness. And that kindness and self-love that follow you wherever you go. Just bask in this radiance right now. Bask in this oneness. most pure 
magnificent state, let's invite an intention into our awareness, a big one, something we truly like to unfold. Allow yourself to get clear on it, crystallize it in your mind's eye. And now invite it into your heart, into your sweet, tender heart. And now plant it like a seed in that fertile soil. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. Raise your chest up. Let the universe come in and gently kiss your soul. Bless that intention and now let it go. it up to the universe to answer. We'll leave it up to spirit to sort out all those details. And let's take it deeper. Let's take it really deep. We'll use the mantra, Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Aham Brahmasmi. Which means I am the universe. You may drift away to thoughts or sounds or physical sensations. That's okay. But as soon as you realize that you've drifted away ever so gently, drift back to aham, brahmasmi. There's no need to force or concentrate. Repeat it easily and effortlessly. And when you notice you've drifted away ever so gently, drift back, and this meditation will be a gentle drifting back and forth. I'll watch the time. And when you hear my voice, just sit gently with your eyes closed. So let's begin.
across me. I am the universe. Sit gently with your eyes closed and let the stillness and silence settle in. Now take a long, slow, deep breath in. And gently let that go. Let's do that one more time. Long, slow, deep breath in. And gently release it. And now let's seal our intention. Let's seal this meditation. And let's celebrate our magnificence, our connection our divine oneness by chanting the hymn of the universe which heralds our oneness. Om. Take a long, slow, deep breath in. who you shared this divine state of consciousness with. Place your palms together. Raise them to your heart, your sweet, tender heart. Bow your head and say namaste. I honor the divine light in you. That's also in me. And when you're in that space and I am in that space, we are one. Namaste. As you move throughout the day, in those moments where you second guess your brilliance, those times when you question your self worth, come back to this moment. Remind yourself, aham brahmasmi, baby. You are the universe. You are perfect. You are whole. You are divine. You are loved, and you are love. From the sweet spot of the universe, this is David G. Sending you big love, and I'll see you in the gap. Namaste. Namaste.